I think music is the best way to travel abroad because you know you can't always talk to somebody, have a in-depth conversation about something, but because we're musicians, we all speak the same language on that front, so we have something we can relate to. There's something that holds us together. The Wind Symphony had never been abroad before, and Dr. McCutcheon, the director, just really wanted to make a splash and go international. It just helps you realize how much music is a universal language, and there's different dialects to that language, but that just makes the experience even more unique. Personally, um, Beijing was my favorite performance to watch because we got to see the jazz band and I'm so into jazz and, and I got to go on stage and solo with them, you know. That's an experience that I'll never get again, ever. We would play something and they would play something and there would just be a connection there that even if they spoke Chinese and we spoke English and we couldn't communicate, at least we could play through music and we could bond that way. My favorite performance was probably the one in Xi'an. The performance we had in Xi'an was definitely memorable in that, I mean, we got there and it wasn't set up and we didn't know what to do. There was nothing there. There weren't any chairs in the building, there weren't any stands in the building, there weren't any of the instruments we were borrowing. We had to carry percussion equipment across campus down four flights of stairs. I carried a harp down five flights of stairs along with a couple other people. And everybody was really feeling down and upset and frustrated. And then we went in and they were so excited. That performance was so high energy. It was one of the most, I think, exciting concerts I've ever played. We made the best out of it. And it, was, it turned out into something that we could really enjoy and something that we were proud of. And I think that was a great experience for members of the Wind Symphony to have in realizing, like, oh, this is what we can do no matter what the circumstances. I think my favorite thing was just being able to meet all of the different students over there that we met and were able to have a musical exchange with. I thought Singapore was the best for like bonding with other musicians. It was it was cool to play next to people who, you know, you'd never met before, who are world like half a world away from you and it was a cool opportunity. So to perform for them uh, and knowing that they would appreciate your performance was gave you that extra, you know, push to really do your best. I think one of the biggest things I take back is the language barrier and like coming across that. I'm student teaching and you have a lot of students who are ELL, English language learners, and they're coming in and they're struggling and I understand a little bit better like how they're struggling and maybe can empathize a little bit more with them and maybe it'll be useful in my teaching now. I just look really fondly back on all the things I got to do that I've always dreamed of doing because I've always wanted to go abroad and I never knew like how was I going to get there, where was I going to go, how is this going to happen and just getting the opportunity to do that really meant a lot to me. I think it is a rare opportunity to, for us to do that because to have that global perspective of music is just amazing. It ended up being one of the greatest experiences I've had.